John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and I've got an exciting video for you today. We have another traveling knife, and uh, that is the Cutmaster traveling knife. Has made it to J.O. Ventures Outdoors, courtesy of Knife Delights. Tom at Knife Delights has started once again another traveling knife, and we have this little Cutmaster peanut two-bladed jackknife, and that's really exciting. So in the past, um, Tom started the Elk Ridge Stockman. It went through, I don't know, 10 to 13 channels, something like that, throughout the community. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we've had the Elk Ridge Bowie uh, by North Star Knife Reviews, uh, the Kershaw Chill uh, from North Star Knife Reviews. Uh, currently, the Knipex uh, Electrician's Knife is making its rounds, and so uh, what happens is one channel starts this, they buy a knife, and they send it around as a traveling knife. And so I'm the next one in line. After this, I'll be sending this to Dune Crew Outdoors. So that'll be really exciting. So I've been carrying this around for a few days. Um, this is a knife that Tom picked up, I, I'm assuming, in a antique store. Uh, he can correct me in the comments. And he did a refurbishing video on this, and I will put that down below. Um, but this knife has a really nice uh, clip blade here, and it's, uh, we'll get a little measurement on this. It's not a very big knife. I'll give you some comparisons. So not even a two-inch clip blade on that. So nice clip blade. It is a Cutmaster, um, and Utica, I believe it says Utica, USA. Utica, New York, USA, um, the Tang stamp, and then we have this nice little pin blade right there. And he did an excellent job on cleaning this up and refurbishing it. I watched the video and again, and he soaked it in mineral oil, and it's got nice snap. The blades all open um, very nicely. The small one's just a little harder to get open. It wasn't sharp when it came to me, so I attempted to sharpen it. Um, someone down the road can do a little better job for me, but uh, you see it has brass liners there. Very nice fit and finish. I mean, there's really, I don't see any gapping or anything. Um, these covers are really cool. Kind of dimpled black covers with the brass pins. Um, just nickel silver bolsters. We think it's some sort of 440 steel, but I cut a couple apples with it, and I thought it was starting to patina just a little bit. So there might be a little more carbon in there or something, but maybe somebody else down the road uh, will know more about that. So some background here on, on Cutmaster. The trade name Cutmaster was first used in 1937, and uh, the parent company, Utica Cutlery of Utica, New York, has been producing pocket knives, straight razors, and other cutlery since 1910. Prior to that, they produced coffins and vaults under the name Utica Burial Case Company. A company headquarters are still located on 820 Noyle Street in New York. Uh, during World War II, they produced knives, bayonets, and Lyman's knife and plier kits for the U.S. military under both Utica and Cutmaster brand names. Now, you know, I got this in an article. You can see the men there working in the plant. And then um, there's a website. They still produce under Utica Promo Company and the name Cutmaster some promo knives, so some promotional pieces. And you can go there and see all they have. Now, a couple things to compare this with. Uh, first of all, I've got my case pin knife. It's just a little two-bladed pin knife. Uh, opens from either end here. Little case USA pin, pin knife, stainless steel. Um, you can see those covers there. And then we can also compare this to the Super Tinker. So you can see how small that is. And compare it to a SD Classic. About the same size, maybe just a little bit bigger. This has been a really cool knife. I've enjoyed it. I've cut apples with it. I've cut open boxes and, and some things like that. I attempted to sharpen it. It's a little bit better edge. 
I've really enjoyed this. This is a nice, nice fifth pocket knife. And Tom asked me to make a slip for it. So I made this slip for the Cutmaster Traveling Knife, made out of four ounce leather. Uh, as I tried to mimic the dimpling on the front, it's a slip, you know, a fold over slip. And then on the back, we've got the uh, J.O. and the uh, prints there, the boot prints. If you can see that, my lighting seems a little bad here tonight, but, um, and just to kind of play around with a calling card there. But, um, so there's the slip that will travel with the Cutmaster traveling knife. We also have a playlist with all the traveling knife videos. I'll have that listed down below. And uh, again, I'll be sending this off to Doom Crew Outdoors to get his review on this traveling knife. And thank you for watching.